I've been using quad lock products ever since I decided I wanted my phone securely mounted to my bike since way back in 2017. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my five years of experience using quad lock products, how my quad lock case has held up for almost three years of continual everyday use, the all new MagSafe case, and the numerous amounts of accessories and applications that are available for quad lock cases. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by quad lock. However, the good and not so good experiences that I'm about to share with you are genuine. And I'm super stoked that after five years of using their product, Quadlock are here supporting the channel. So thank you so much, Quadlock. I'm sure that by now you would have heard of Quadlock and have a general understanding on how their system works. You have your phone case or universal adapter, you have your mount, you twist in your phone to your adapter and your phone is now securely fixed to your motorcycle via their dual stage locking mechanism. Push down on the tabs, twist and your phone is safely disconnected. Great, so how secure is it really? Let's put it this way. For the past five years since using Quadlock, I've ridden thousands of kilometers on road, had it jiggling around while riding off road for hours on end, in rain, shine, and I've never had my phone disconnect from the mount, ever. The one time where I had my phone leave the handlebars without me detaching it was when I had a heavy hit back in 2020. That wasn't around the backyard tour, you might have seen it. If you haven't, check it out here, it's pretty hectic. The force of the drop ended up pulling the vibration dampener in two, but my phone was still connected to the quad lock adapter. My phone was fine and the vibration dampener's little rubber bits were all that popped out and were easily put back in their home. The drop was so hard that it actually snapped the world of my gear shift shaft internally and I was stuck in second gear in the middle of nowhere. That was good times, <laughs> what an experience. Whew. Now that is the only mishap I've had in five years since using quad lock. Isn't that crazy? Let's take a look at my case. First off, the case is made with a tough polycarbonate core with an impact absorbing TPU edge to edge outer shell. Now this is how my case looks after using it for almost three years every single day. Sure, it has some marks, tiny dings and scratches, but there are no actual wear marks. The phone is still very snug and safe inside the case and the actual lock still works as if it were new. So I've just removed the vibration damper just because that was moving a little bit when I was twisting it. So this will give a bit more of an accurate reading. And that's, that's the play there. I mean, after three years of using every day, that's all there is. This is going hard without breaking it. But yeah, otherwise, that's it. Still solid, still super solid. I know some people aren't a fan of how the rear of the case sticks out slightly as it feels a little bulky. It doesn't bother me at all and I feel it adds to the security when holding it. I usually just, when I pick up my phone and I'm just, you know, naturally holding it, my finger is in the back anyway. And that sort of, you know, adds, adds to the grip while I'm using my phone. So I think that's, I think that's fine. I like that. I like that. However, if you are one of those people that prefer a slimmer case, Quadlock has released their new MagSafe cases and mounts for quicker mounting with a sleek design. The only bummer about the MagSafe case is that they don't actually make them for models before the iPhone 12, and I have the iPhone 11. Luckily, Corey has, I don't know, what is yours? Uh, it's a 12 Pro. 12 Pro, sick. So can you, this is, this is Corey by the way. Ladies and gents, can you just show us how it works? That easy, hey? Simple. Let's put it back on. Ah, oh, sick. Ah, uh, so the only difference now is that the the pattern here is just an X, so it basically just slides and locks straight on. That's awesome, actually. And the back of the case is flat. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Was raised. Yep. And that and you don't have to lock it in. What's good about this is you can put it. Ah, that's the dash mount as well, obviously. Yeah, that looks sick. So not having any vents means I didn't get the, couldn't get the vent mount. So I got the dash mount, the powered head, and just run the cable through into USB-C plug awesome. in here. Sick. Can you show us how it mounts up to the bike? Yeah, how good is that? So it doesn't even matter, hey. I thought you might have to like angle this around or something maybe. No. Yeah, that's sick. That's so good. Now obviously they don't, you don't want to put the uh, MagSafe connector on your bike because it will probably just fall off here. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is still just like, you know, it's nice and secure when you mount it on. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. How good's that? It's not going anywhere. That's awesome. And that case feels so much better than this case. <laughs> I'm actually spewing. I was going to hold on to this phone for a while just because it's still good. iPhone 11 Pro is good, but literally just because the, that, that case just feels nicer. It actually feels so good. So jealous. <laughs> Just like how most iPhone users stick to Mac products and Android with Windows, I know that there's people in between, and honestly, I don't know how you do it, but you know, 
each to their own. You don't want to be switching out a case for each and every activity under the sun. Quadlock have a whole bunch of accessories available to use with the Quadlock case so that you can enjoy your everyday tasks without the need to switch cases. The mounts I use are the wireless handlebar mount adapter which charges my phone while I ride so I can use navigation without the worry of my phone going flat. I also have this coupled with the vibration dampener to protect my phone's sensitive optical image stabilizer from any dangerous micro vibrations. This works a treat and I have a video right here. Check that out in depth. It works. It's very, very good. I have this mounted to the Handlebar Mount Pro, which has a black anodized finish and looks the part. On my desk, I have the desk mount with the wireless charger, which I use every day. I love that it has a sticky adhesive on the bottom, which you can wash and reuse over and over again. I reckon I've had this thing for about maybe like four years, four years. And I, I use it every single day. It's literally on my desk. I rock up, mount my phone to it, editing, boom, 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 take calls, speaker. You can adjust the little ball thing. So you can, you know, have all your different angles and everything. They have a new one out there, which has the wireless charging little bay thing. So you can put your AirPods there or another device or whatever. So you can just have like a little, you know, charging sanctuary right beside your computer here. I have the car vent mount and I also have the sports armband, which I use every time I go out for a run or cycle, which as you can tell is still looking quite new. But there are a large variety of mounts available on the website to cater for your everyday needs and is a list that they're constantly expanding on. If you're a Quadlock user, I would love to hear your experiences so far, good or bad, drop in the comments below. If you aren't and you'd like to join the Quadlock fam, make sure you use code MOTOFEELS at checkout for 10% off everything store wide and enjoy having your phone securely mounted wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, please do drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace. There we go. Without breaking my phone in half. Oof. Holy crap, I actually forgot that it was white. Isn't that weird? I thought I, thought I got a black one. <laughs> Oops.